<laughs> well, you can have different definitions, broad or narrow. In a narrow sense, the gospel is <clears throat> believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Or uh, another way of putting it from a theological perspective is uh, justification by faith alone in Christ alone. But in a broader sense, the word gospel means good news. And the whole message of Jesus, the whole message of the New Testament, in fact, the teaching of the whole Bible, comes to uh, the world as good news. Good news of salvation in Jesus Christ and then the transformation of lives and culture and society that comes through that transformation. So I uh, I think it's legitimate to use the term in a broader, narrow sense, and I don't really get too involved in trying to arbitrate the differences between those senses of the word or anything in between. Well, yes, but Brandon, that's probably because um, any any document can be summarized, and the Bible can be summarized and condensed into its key components. But if you break it out into further implications of what is involved in that definition, then the whole Bible becomes uh, part of the scope of what you're talking about. And even in believing in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. Um, uh, in order to understand that fully, you have to understand who Jesus is and why you have to believe in him and what it means to be saved. And that includes the whole history of redemption as it unfolds from Genesis to Revelation. So the good news is the whole story of everything the Bible teaches in a broad sense. <laughs>